Everyone has always had that dream, right? The one where you want to be a princess and chase after your Prince Charming? No? Just me? Ah oh, well. Hey everyone, welcome back to Shanky Plays, and today we are reviewing Rhapsody Marl Kingdom Chronicles, a collection of Rhapsody 2 Ballad of the Little Princess, released in November 1999, and Rhapsody 3 Memories of Marl Kingdom, released in December 2000, both of which were previously Japan only. Also, this goes without saying, but there will be a few spoilers. Nothing too serious, but be warned. So pull up a chair, grab a snack, grab a drink, and get ready while I get into the meat and potatoes of today's review. Now, I am not one to say a game is designed for men or women. However, the Rhapsody games definitely aim towards the girl demographic. The basic story of the games is you play the role of a princess on a mission to find your Prince Charming, which typically leads to you going on all sorts of adventures and getting into some crazy shenanigans. The story of the games are not particularly deep, in fact they're quite simple and silly. They feel like interactive versions of stories you would tell children before tucking them into bed. By no means are they bad, but they are quite silly and sweet. However, you might seem a little bored if you're looking for a hero to save the world type of story. I was quite impressed with the fact that they actually English dubbed the voice scenes. Honestly, it was the last thing I expected as it's becoming more and more common for niche games to be localized with only Japanese dubs. It was really nice for this collection to feature dual audio. Anyways, the one thing that really makes the Rhapsody games stand out from every RPG is they are actual musicals. At times during the story, the characters, villains included, will break out into song. It's incredibly cringy and ridiculous, but it's kind of heartwarming too. It's almost as if Disney directed a JRPG. Now, the songs are still in Japanese, however, they do feature English subtitles. Definitely the better choice, I can't imagine how the songs would turn out if they tried to dub them. The gameplay of Rhapsody is something I've never really seen before. The Rhapsody series uses a Pokemon-esque system, where you can recruit enemies and have them join you as puppets. Most characters have the ability to equip up to three puppets to augment their stats or give you new abilities. In Rhapsody 2, puppets are equipped to characters, however in Rhapsody 3, instead of only equipping puppets to characters, you can set a puppet as sort of a main puppet and then equip sub-puppets. Is the word puppet starting to sound a little bit weird to anybody else? Anyway, out of battle is pretty basic run through overworld areas to make your way to towns and dungeons, progress through dungeons, and make it to the next story event doesn't really do anything that hasn't been seen before, but you're really in it for the cute story and comical character interactions. The Rhapsody remasters? They can't be explained as anything other than cute. They're super colorful and incredibly pleasant to look at, though you can definitely tell they are both games from over 20 years ago. They look absolutely gorgeous. However, there is one thing that really bothers me. This Rhapsody collection has an option for smoothing. As the pixel art has not been redone, you can use a smooth filter if you don't like the choppiness of pixels, but I would not wish this on my worst enemy. It looks awful. Absolutely atrocious. If depression had a visual, this would be it. It's like someone smudged everything together, it makes the dialogue unbearable to read, and it just turns the game from a gorgeous looking retro game to something someone vomited on the graphics and tried to scrub it clean. Here, I'll live the pain so you don't have to. Gross. I'll never recover from this. However, there is some good news. There is also a CRT filter as well. I'm not a huge fan of CRT filters. It's made to look like it would have looked like on the original TVs, you know, the old tube TV CRT monitors. It darkens the screen, but at least it doesn't offend the eyes like the smooth filter does. The music for Rhapsody is one of the main draws to the game. With the game being a musical, the music is possibly some of the coziest I've ever heard in a video game. You have great music at perfect times, as one of the main themes of the game is romance, you have that feel-good music, then you have the music in a forest that gives you a feeling of adventure, then a haunted mansion that makes you shiver. Each different composition really accentuates the current moment of the story, which really feeds into the experience. However, while the music is great, the real thing that needs to be talked about is the actual musical part of Rhapsody. 
As stated before, there are moments in the game where all of a sudden the characters, be it your player characters, the NPCs, or villains, will just randomly start singing. They can be about the typical I want to find my prince kind of song, or a song about cats making ice cream that turns out to be poop. Yeah, that's actually an entire chapter's plot point. It can be super cringy, but no matter how cringy it is, it still makes you laugh and feel good after it's all over. If you are looking for a nice, short game, Rhapsody games are definitely perfect for that. Each game is about 10 to 15 hours long, they definitely do not overstay their welcome, though I was left wanting more of the story. The length of the games coupled with the story of the game makes it feel like a perfect first RPG. The chapters are short and sweet, being roughly an hour long, the games are linear so getting lost isn't an issue. It's a very comfortable length, and the difficulty isn't really there, so you won't spend a ton of time grinding for levels because of difficult bosses. Rhapsody is a cozy game series and a great couple of games if you're looking for a feel-good comedic game to last you for a weekend. Just don't expect too much and you'll have an enjoyable time. Are you going to pick up Rhapsody Marl Kingdom Chronicles? Let me know in the comments below if you're looking forward to it or your thoughts on the game. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. That's the meat and potatoes. Thanks for tuning in, folks, and I hope you have a wonderful day.